What's going on guys? This is Nix96 via a voice program. Welcome once again to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to build a balanced team for June's Venture Cup by Sylph Arena. Here is the announcement of the cup with the rules included. In this cup, we have to build our team of 6 using a points system similar to the cliffhanger format of Go Stadium or a fantasy football game. Also, in this format, Dark, Fairy and Steel types are banned, along with Chansey and Megas. So we could say this format is a mixture of Retro Cup and Cliffhanger. Now, to build our team of 6 we have only 20 points to spend, and every Pokemon is at least 1 point. The top tier Pokemon cost 10 points each. They are Cresselia, Froslass, Altaria, Hypno, Alolan Marowak, and Licky Tongue. Then, some Pokemon cost 6 points each, like Jellicent, Politoed, and Kingdra. All of them are great choices. Also, we have Pokemon like Obama Snow, Pachi Risu, and Driftblim that cost 4 points each. And finally, anything that was not listed before costs 1 point. Some remarkable picks include Venusaur, Nine Tails, and Primeape. I made a little chart showing all the possible combinations to make a team with 20 points or less, and how efficient they are at spending points. I think the best combinations here are a 10, a 6 and 4 times 1, 2 times 6, a 4 and 3 times 1, and finally a 6, 3 times 4 and 2 times 1. In addition, I would like to consider the top ranked Pokemon for this format according to PV Poke along with their recommended move set, and the points each Pokemon costs. These Pokemon seem to have the best results in this format. Once again, keep in mind that this ranking may change with time according to player usage. The Cup Stats tab of the Sylph website will show the most commonly used Pokemon in this format. This information can help us decide which Pokemon we should choose for our team to counter the common picks. Also, you can check out the Resources tab, where you can find more guides and info like this video from Steve. I highly recommend it. Here, I made a chart with what I felt was the meta in this format, creating some roles by type, very similar to last month's cup. We have counter users, psychic types, ghost types, dark and ghost type coverage, ice types and dragon types. And here are some examples of Pokemon for each of the roles, including some wild cards not included on the previous roles. We can also see how much points these Pokemon cost. So, in my opinion a good balanced team should bring these six roles, the first four are Anti-Psychic, Anti-Ghost, Anti-Normal and Anti-Dragon. These are the types of the six Pokemon that cost 10 points each. They are some of the best in this format and can give some advantage to their users. So we must be prepared to face them in any tournament by having some counters in our team. The anti-psychic role could be a ghost type, or a normal type, with lick, or shadow claw. The anti-ghost could be a normal type. You can skip this if you have chosen a normal type before. The anti-normal could be a counter user and the anti-dragon could be an ice type. Then we should round up our team with two wild cards, that have the best synergy with the rest of your team. I can recommend to look for a psychic, a dragon, a water or a grass type, among others. You can also use PV Pokes Team Builder to help you fill a role or complete your team. This is made by choosing some of the Pokemon from the roles here, I personally recommend 3 or 4, and then simulate the results. You just need to use the team builder wisely, to look for alternatives that cover your team weakness, and keep simulating with the new Pokemon until you have your team of 6, and not exceeding 20 points. Also, remember every team has a weakness, but one should try that it doesn't include meta Pokemon that are most likely to be used. I also recommend to choose Pokemon with the higher points last, if possible, because they have better matchups against the whole meta they can help you round up your team easily. 
and now here are some team examples that are mostly balanced in this format. They are taken from the winners of a few practice tournaments. I hope this is helpful to all of you. This is the end of the video. Thank you everyone for watching and if you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, you can join my discord, where I will host tournaments soon. I'll put the link in the description below. Once again, thank you.